K dramas, actors, uh, and like K pop, like blow up internationally. BTS. I think foreign girls, especially young girls that don't have much experience, that don't know any better, they come here with all that innocence and. Why do you think in the recent times, Korean fuckboys and Hongdae boys have become so like infamous? I absolutely <laughs> detest Hongdae. And I'll tell you why. I'll, tell you why. I'll explain. Uh, should I meet a guy on Tinder? Because <laughs> <laughs> like they're always like, that's the only place I can meet yeah, Korean dudes. And I true. understand that totally. But my advice is always like <laughs> about sex. <laughs> Among your experiences in Korea, when does it happen normally? Bringing Korea one slice closer to the world with extraordinary and fun toppings. Welcome to the Korean Pizza Club KPC. I'm your host, David Kim, and today we have special guests as usual. Please introduce yourselves, starting from Sonia. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sonia. I've been in Korea for 1.5 years. And uh, yeah, just general balling. Okay. <laughs> what do you do or like, what are your interests? Um, in order to have a visa here in Korea, I teach English, uh, unfortunately. Oh. Um, Why is that unfortunate? Yeah. Don't like it. Oh, Just okay. don't like because it. Because a lot of people say that they like these little kids. I Some did, did until I came to Korea, but it's very different here. They're devils, huh? They're yeah. devils. No, no, no. It's nothing to do with that. It's just like the hours are really long. Like all uh, the other teaching jobs I had, it was like a few hours a day. Uh -huh. Just chill. But, okay, okay. But I'm actually an artist. I do drawing, painting, dancing. Yeah, um, that's where I was leading to. <laughs> people need to check that out. Yeah, so yeah. She was on Ramyun and Chill, the program I produced, the international dating show, the best one ever. And uh, she totally slayed on that show yeah. with that fire. Uh, what do you call it? Hula hoop? <laughs> fire. Yeah, the fire hooping. Yeah, yeah. fire hooping. That, that was, was so good. That was yeah. crazy. I'm we have a Ramyun and Chill fan soul. here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, David, but I never watched. The show. Oh my god, I'm I offended. Apologize. You're missing out. I know. Uh, You're yeah. missing out, Sean. Okay, Sean. Uh, hi. Um, I'm Sean Solo, and I'm a streamer on Twitch. Okay, <laughs> that was simple. very I'll keep, I'll keep it simple. concise. No, no. <laughs> what do you talk about, though, on Twitch? Uh, I talk about relationship advice. I don't Ooh. like to say advice, I, I would say more like my opinion, my mm. input on certain things. Okay. And uh, I just do other funny things to entertain. Uh, my fans. Okay. Mm. okay. Okay. We'll uh, slowly get to know what kind of person Sean is through the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Someone that did not watch Ramen and Show. I apologize for that. Uh, that's okay. That. You can watch it now. And yeah. yeah give when me I go a, home, I will. <laughs> give me a view. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next we have... Anna. I'm or from... Anoush. Is that right? <laughs> that was so bad. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I won't no, try. I'm Anna. I'm from France. I'm a French entrepreneur. I um, co-founded uh, the first K-pop cafe concept store in Paris. Ooh. So if you're ever visiting France, go check it out. It's called Kick Cafe. K-pop is for cool kids. Ah, yeah, K-pop is for cool kids. Kick yeah. Cafe. Kick that's cool. Cafe. That is, that's adorable. And, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Thank yeah. you. And uh, yeah, also recently launched my own accessories brand called Etincelle, Dang. which means sparks in French. Etincelle. Etincelle. <laughs> Etincelle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so go check it out if you have time and like... Thank okay. you for having me. Okay, thank you for coming, everybody. Yeah. Uh, it's a late night here, Wednesday in Seoul. Um, and today's topic is actually going to be about the good old dating in Korea. Yeah. <laughs> always get them views and uh, <laughs> always very hot topic. I would just like to ask, first of all, Sean, you yes. said you do dating related content. Yes. So David. what inspired you to like talk about those topics in the first place? It wasn't really planned. I was streaming and one of my, one of the girls in the chat was like, hey, Sean, I'm having this little thing with this guy and could you give me your opinion on it? Uh, and I just did midstream just out of just random mm -hmm. and it just became my thing. And after that, a lot of people were like, Sean, you should continue this kind of, um, mm. kind of content. Mm -hmm. And the more I, uh, I would clip up those highlights, upload them on YouTube and Instagram, TikTok, and it would take just a life of its own. Yeah. yeah. And then. Cause like, I've also seen Sean's uh, clips on real shorts, TikTok, and they're popping up like crazy nowadays. Yeah. And 
<laughs> I was very surprised uh, he wanted to be on the show. I was like, okay, yeah, come on in. I like the vibe of David. He has this very friendly vibe. <laughs> you know you what I mean? You, you girls vibe. understand what I'm saying, right? He just has this vibe, you know, very friendly. I'm your good old friend, David. <laughs> Absolutely. Here, yes. So I want to ask you guys, I mean, obviously, yeah. though, uh, have you ever tried dating a Korean guy or a foreigner here? Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. I, I can confidently say it every day. Okay, confirmed. Mainly Just killing Korean. it. Uh -huh. And Sonia, mm -hmm. how about you? Um, yeah, I, <laughs> Come on. I've been on many a date. Yeah. Should be on a dating show. <laughs> I've, I've had two serious boyfriends here oh. so far. Um, what about the unserious ones? <laughs> Yeah, those were the ones that like, yeah, one date and it's like, well, blocked or <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, wow. ghosted or blocked, okay. probably. Uh, yeah. can, can I ask you something? What's the reason why you would block? What What is your <laughs> red flag exactly? Like They don't take ghosting as an answer. Mm -hmm. They just keep texting. Oh, or, okay. Mm -hmm. Obsessive yeah, behavior. Obsessive mm -hmm. behavior, mm -hmm. for right. sure. Clingy. Yeah, clingy yeah. Or like, I see. Mm -hmm. right. And what about I, you, Sean? Yes, David, what's the question? Uh, have you dated <laughs> international women before in Korea? You know what? When I'm streaming, I play a character that I'm a Christian. I'm a pure man. Yeah, that's know? me too. <laughs> you know I mean? It's not but a character for me. Come on. I, I, I'm a virgin. Come you on, know, Christians yeah, don't right. date. I'll, I'll, I'll be real. Yes, <laughs> be uh, yes real. I have. Yes, I have. Yeah. Yes, you have. Okay. <laughs> we can see that, honestly. Yeah. Well, everybody can see that. Yeah. yeah. I'll but, take that as a compliment. Yes. But you I'm said, a virgin. You said I was sexy before. So. <laughs> oh, did he? he no, said when, he's I sexy? Said bon when I said bonjour. Uh, oh, you were sexy. Oh, so you saw that as like, oh, I mean, yeah. It's on my phone. I'm joking. I'm joking right now. No, 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 no. That wasn't a Christian behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Christian confirmed. Yeah. Come on, come on. I'm joking. But yes, I have to answer your question. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So uh, speaking of international relationships, though, I'm sure there have been good ones and bad ones. Do you have any stories you can share as like... Oh, this was really good. Oh, this was a total horror show. I think Sonia has something on her mind right now by the look. You know, I'm very, I'm very perceptive, so I could tell. She was like eager to speak. Yeah, yeah, like, me I, I too. I just feel it from me the side. Me too. You know? um, I'll just go in like order of, of happening, Okay, okay. The, the, whole, the whole podcast is going to be her explaining. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, no, for no, an hour, I, I'm going to make it quick. Okay. Like, oh, I, and actually, I talked about this in mm -hmm. the interview for Ramya and Chill. Okay, okay. The guy, the hospital guy. Well, the hospital. The hospital I, I don't know if you remember remind that. Remind me, please. Like, <laughs> yes. When I first met him, it was like amazing. Everybody was like so jealous. Like, oh, where'd you find this guy? He's like the best boyfriend ever. Uh -huh. Like doing all this like really great stuff. Yeah. What and kind of great stuff? Anything. Mm -hmm. Like he found my friend an apartment. Like he would show up with groceries for oh. me. Like he was stocking my fridge kind of shit. Oh, like, oh that's nice. That's like your yeah. husband. <laughs> Cosplaying Black Butler for me. Oh. And everybody knows how much I love Black Butler. So okay. like he would show up at my work with like chocolate flowers, like wearing the wow. costume. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That and? kind of stuff. And everybody was like, wow, he's like the world's best boyfriend. And then like... I don't remember where it got weird. Oh, he started getting like really jealous. Like he'd be like, oh, who are you going to the movies with? And if I was going with a guy, he'd be like, well, can I come? Oh my God. That's kind of a red flag, no? Yeah. And argue with me until I said yes. Mm, oh. And then when I said yes, he wouldn't show up. Uh. So I dumped his ass. He disappeared for three days. And then he came back and was like, oh, this whole time I've been in the hospital unconscious because I was so devastated that you left me. <laughs> okay. This guy has issues. And I was like, yo, send me a pic of you in the hospital. And he he wasn't in the hospital. Oh my God. Just like, straight up. Straight lie, up. Yeah. Okay. Lying. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good one or a bad one. Maybe it's the same. It's like the... super weird, yeah. right? Yeah. It was good in the start, but then yeah. it ended weird. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sean, any, any stories to tell? <laughs> Um, I don't exactly have stories, but uh, I think it just all boils, boils down to cultural difference. I yeah. think that's the biggest thing because mm -hmm. you guys both have to make sacrifices. Mm -hmm. you know? And if I, if I date a Korean girl that grew up in Korea all her life, it's kind of easy. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. Just to be, speak the same language, it just works. But, you know, she's like in somewhere like Bolivia or something. Yeah. She has her culture. And, you know, in Korea, I'm sure you girls can agree when you meet a Korean guy usually the situationship lasts very short in Korea. Mm. You know? yeah. Situationship. Yeah, uh, it's like some, some, it some, some, right? Yeah. It so some is very short. I know a friend of mine that dated his girlfriend the second day he met her. Mm -hmm. So that yeah. stuff exists. But mm -hmm. I, in my recollection, 
I think in Europe, it's like you, you're in a situation ship for maybe six to five, six months. No. What? No, no. That's what I heard. No. What? No, that's I'm what telling I heard you. in Europe. No. Europe living in I could the... be wrong, but that's what no. I, I've heard. But in Medieval France, we, we don't do that. <laughs> not that. I mean, we do, but not that long. But then it's also France, the yeah. most liberal country yeah. in the world. <laughs> We're flexible. You know, we, we all have different walks of life, <laughs> yeah. you know? But um, mm. for me, I think it's just that cultural difference, making sacrifices for each other, understanding and each other's background. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice? Really? Th that strong word? Not exactly sacrifice, but... The compromise. It. Compromise, yeah. yeah. Let's take that term very so. loosely. Yeah, yeah. I understand that. But you have to make compromise anyway in your relationship. I guess. So. I'm, I'm curious as to like what would be a cultural sacrifice. Yeah. Mm. Like what's a common one that you've seen between Koreans and foreigners? Mm. Maybe I chose the wrong word, but it's all about understanding. How's that sound? Let's, let's take clubbing, for an instance. Mm -hmm. In America or Europe, mm -hmm. clubbing is something that you can do with your friends. Yeah, your true. boyfriend, your significant other can be okay with it. Mm. True. But if you walk around Korea and ask 10 couples, like Korean, Korean couples, mm. yeah. and ask them, do you guys go you clubbing? Don't. They'll say no. Mm. So that's the difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they might be like, I'm going to go clubbing with my friends. And mm. I'll be like, no, I don't think that's a good idea. And mm. you yeah. guys can have an argument. So sometimes you just got to, you know, understand each other, you yeah. know, and that's just what it is. That kind that's of difference true. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Mm -hmm. Very true. Yeah, I've heard the clubbing thing many times, like breaking people up. Yeah, Actually. the essence of a club here is different too. I think like yeah, very a different. lot of dudes just go there to meet girls. Yeah, <laughs> they want to get like ninety-nine something. percent of the dudes. Yeah, so I would I, say yeah. I guess that in that kind of context, it mm. kind of makes sense. So mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. speaking of clubs, do you like clubs, Emma? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> that was a Terrible. nice segue. I mean, no? I love going to clubs, but like, like Sean said, like there is a very different mm. um, perception of it. Like in me, when I go clubbing, I, I go to have a good time with my friends first. Yeah. I don't go to pick up guys there. I, I, I go because I like to dance, mm -hmm. I like the music, the atmosphere. Yeah. Also in Korea, it's super safe. I, I don't go clubbing in France for oh, really? like ever. Like I hate going clubbing in France oh. because it's for several reasons. Uh -huh. But like here, I feel safe. Like the alcohol is not that expensive, mm. and yeah, I'm just I just want to go there to have fun with my friends. But it's true that Korean, especially guys, don't see it that way. Mm. When it comes to guys, especially in that kind of setting, uh -huh. I'm really shy. Mm -hmm. So if I have to do, I, I rarely do anything with guys in mm. clubs. Mm -hmm. And in Korea, they surprisingly guys don't approach me that much in clubs oh. because I'm always surrounded by my friends and often there's like a guy in the group and uh -huh. then when there is a guy in the group they uh -huh. tend to not come see us okay that, but where did sense. all that talk go while we were eating pizza you guys are like <laughs> oh i just go on the streets and it's easy to get you know a dude I mean, for the night well, don't get, <laughs> like, don't get you me guys wrong. are like <laughs> don't get me wrong I, I i think it's the same for you sonia like we get a lot of stares and like i yeah. know if i like in, if i'm in the club and like i like look at a guy and right in the eye and like make I can like get cle it. clear signals uh -huh. that I'm like open to it, he will come. Oh. But like, since I'm not giving out that kind of signals, they mm. don't come to me. I think that they don't like muster up the courage because right. they, they have, we are foreigners. They have to like speak English. They're like stressed yeah, there's about- there's a language about, barrier yeah, and stuff. Yeah, they're stressed about the language barriers. So. Yeah. Yeah, but like it, it is easy mm. to, <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It is easy. Yeah, if you wanted to, you could. Yeah. 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 yeah, in a second. Yeah, and just speaking of cultural <laughs> differences, like one, one episode for me is like, I had an ex before and she was not Korean and mm. One sacrifice, this is literally a sacrifice I had to make is like my love for spicy food. <laughs> she could not take spicy food. Mm. And she was like, whenever I want to eat some hot blazing, you know, chicken takarbi or whatever, she's like, I can't do that. But that's that is, a sacrifice. That is, that's a, that's I've a, had to make that sacrifice. That yeah. is an adorable sacrifice. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Like, so I can't be mad about it and angry yeah. about it, but it's like, but I still want but this it is right not now. about cultural difference. It is, it, no, it, because it's like, if I, if I, like, I, I eat meat and if I, date someone that is vegan that's the same i i get it but it's more like in her her culture they don't have that much of spicy food so she's not mm. like very uh accustomed to it and like here the spicy level is average level pretty high you yeah, know like, you just got unlucky maybe. 
I think you're unlucky because I like the, all the Korean guys <laughs> I've dated. I've always liked spicier food than them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. They're all like total wusses. It's just, like we have to order like one half this and one yeah. half spicy yeah. Yeah. or like two separate things. Right, right, yeah. right. And even about like um, cultural differences, the speed of having skinship or Ooh. <laughs> when you get deep. <laughs> <laughs> For me, uh, I'm a conservative Christian virgin boy. Mm -hmm. So obviously I don't have sex and <laughs> I think no, no, I think that's absolutely beautiful though. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not kidding. I think that's beautiful. Right, right, right. Yeah. It's, it's their own uh it's their own values and stuff. But it, it takes quite a while for me. Like for me, I personally follow the standard Korean three date rule. I actually oh. don't agree with that. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can disagree, but like, <laughs> what, I, what is I, the rule? It's like, yeah, you you normally do like a sogeting, a blind date or something. You just meet first. You just check out who the person mm -hmm. is. If you like the person, you do something called after. It's like, you know, let's meet again. Mm -hmm. uh, we go on the second date. If you vibe and a little bit more, okay, she seems like a nice person. Let's go one one step further. Mm -hmm. And then when you say like, oh, do you want to go on like another date with me? That's already like a confirmation of, oh, this person's into me. I'm I'm into her. And then mm -hmm. after the third date, it's like, okay, let me say like, okay, let's be boyfriend, girlfriend. We set the relationship and then mm -hmm. the skinship starts. It's safe to hold your hand, kiss or whatever. But I heard Western people they don't have that kind of concept. No. It just like starts from the first date or whatever. No. So, yeah, <laughs> she's strongly disagreeing. So, okay. <laughs> no, I, I think you just gotta you just gotta read that. read the girl. Like, she, yeah, she's gotta yeah. Read it. and that comes with experience, of course. But you just have to learn. You just have to know how to read her body language and like what you guys talk about. Right. Mm -hmm. And I then mean, you can initiate it. I mean, of course, like I've had cases too, like when the girl is like very forward and she's not shy about touching or stuff. And then I, I just match the vibe and I just match the speed. But typically with Korean girls and uh, most girls I've met, I like to be a gentleman. I like to have some space before we... <laughs> That's nice, actually. <laughs> yeah, so like taking, taking it slow, I've always liked that because both sides, if it's too fast, sometimes it gets boring very easily. So. I Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Can I just explain real quick why I disagree with yes, you? It's not the about debate like, begins. <laughs> I agree with you about like getting things slow and getting to know each other, but yeah. like for me it's too it's, it feels like you're putting obstacles. You, you, uh, you don't leave room for natural chemistry to happen mm -hmm. because you're already everything is already scheduled in advance. Yeah. And <laughs> that's like it it takes away the charm of meeting someone. Mm -hmm. There's that's just the way maybe it's because I'm French. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I like, totally yeah, respect that. Like, I, but like, I respect also. Like, yeah. I, I really do believe that you're right to like wait and like yeah. be a gentleman and like yeah you're right to do this yeah. but like don't forget that yeah, don't I mean, reject the girl if she's if she's making a move on you right right because, right of like, course i mean as i said uh, again like it's mostly for korean girls but for like i've met a lot of oh, foreigner okay. girls too and usually they're more forward than me and i just yeah. follow i just follow their lead yeah. and i'm not like i don't shy up on yeah, that kind of stuff actually i want to elaborate on her point because mm. i get a lot of messages from from girls on Instagram asking me questions like, Ooh. obviously, yeah. Uh, well, they asked me, "Hey, Sean, would I would the guy find me easy if I sleep with him on the first date?" I get that question a lot, actually. Huh. And I always say the same thing, which is, you can't judge a girl just because she sleeps with you on the yeah. first date. You yeah. just can't because I've had experience where I slept with them on the first date and it was they were kind, respectful, loyal. Mm -hmm. You can't judge that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's, yeah, that's, that's old school thinking. I understand her concerns though because like it's not about judging the girl. She's more concerned about whether the guy's going to be like a fuckboy yeah, or not. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, she's yeah, trying yeah. to like, yeah, I, I understand. But her. I think that three step is okay. Like I think yeah. you just have to learn how to read the room, mm -hmm. learn how to read her language. Exactly. And then at one point you're going to be like, Honey, I think we should spend the night together. You know? Oh, yeah. honey. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think we should spend the night together. Exactly. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I think going with the really flow is like the best way. Yeah, 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 going like, with the you know, flow. I think we should spend the night. We should, we should cuddle. Be my teddy bear. You know? Oh. Be my teddy bear. Exactly. Is that right. exactly? Is that your love language? You, you really no, I just, I just came up with that on top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the point is, yeah, like you just have okay. to be very, you have to make sure to give her the reassurance right. that, mm. you know, you're not some creep. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that's nice. That's mm. slow sort mm -hmm. of process. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. mm. Communication is key. Exactly. exactly. I agree. Yeah. Because I, I dated a Korean guy here once and 
We went on like six dates. Wow. Okay. Okay. And I think it was pretty clear that we both liked each other, but mm. he never made a move. Made a move. Yeah. That's annoying. That's classic. And finally, it just got to the point where I lost interest. Mm. Yeah. And then so oh, I started no. thinking of him more as like a friend. So he kind of oh, like friend yeah. zoned himself oh, maybe no. a little bit. Yeah. Then I just slowly like. Yeah. Just stopped. Walked away. Answering yeah. him. And mm. yeah, I think so. there are those kind of Korean guys. Yeah, definitely. The more conservative <laughs> yeah. type, uh, the more introvert type. And they mm -hmm. don't make the first move. Did you try, like... Actually, I, saying I you definitely like, I, like, like I was like touching his arm uh, and like we were hanging out. He was know. not reacting. Mm, mm. Not really, no. Uh oh, because oh. mm. I was in this similar situation and then I was kind of pissed off and then I looked at him and I was like, you know. I really like you. Do something. Oh, you said that I, I, I blatantly did, did, in his face. And then, and then he kissed me. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so I, I, I had to. He was to, waiting for like, the green light. But like the second before, uh -huh. I could never. Just like Sonia had, like the same experience. Like yeah. the guy was cold as ice. Uh, yeah. I mean, so sometimes you just need to break that ice right. and go for it. Some might think it's lame, but in my point of view, I am somewhat like that to some extent. Cause, oh. but even if I hold hands, I'm like, do you want to, oh, you know, like, I, I, I say true. something verbally, like some people just grab hands like naturally. I know there's like romantic vibe, uh, atmosphere out of that, but I, I'm like, you want to hold hands? And then she says like, yeah. And then you got like consent or something mm -hmm. like, so yeah. I try to say everything, not like everything, but at least most of the stuff, uh, verbally and get consent. And like, she's, right. if she's okay, then I'm like, okay, let's go on further than that. I think that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah like <laughs> like either true. way is fine with me, but when you literally do nothing, yeah. it's like yeah. at that point, like I, I wasn't even interested in him anymore. Uh, I was like, yeah. I don't even want you to kiss me now. Oh, <laughs> kind of like thinking I'm, of you as just really my brother or something. Oh. <laughs> I'm really shocked at this panel today because like normally I have like Anna next to me not not you yeah. the Anna Lee the and I have like maybe Kelsey a Danny and they're like oh dude what are you doing you know <laughs> that's not how you do it you know like you need to uh yeah spice it up but yeah no it's okay mm. honestly you have your own style and I that's wasn't fine. expecting this but okay that's fine. <laughs> thank you yeah. yeah okay um so speaking of spicy though <laughs> about sex <laughs> okay <laughs> among your experiences in korea when does it happen normally so now do you, do you want to answer this <laughs> um <laughs> if you're uncomfortable i'm not you know, you don't I, mean, I mean i'm for, uncomfortable but for me i don't see any difference between yeah here and america like mm -hmm. I, okay. it's that thing about just going with the flow yeah yeah. Like I've had some dudes where we move very fast and then we are like in a relationship for a very long time mm -hmm. or other times where it's like we move slow, but we also ended up in a relationship mm -hmm. or other yeah. times we move fast and I never saw them again. Or other times we waited because we thought it was the right thing and then mm -hmm. we still never saw each other again. Uh, so, so it's all sort of cases. It's I think, yeah, it just depends on how much you vibe with that person. Oh, okay. yeah. Like if you guys are just having so much fun and you just keep like you, you meet on your date and you're like, Oh, this is great. Let's go drinking now. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. like drinking leads to something else. But then yeah. you still call each other the next day. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I kind of agree with Sonia. Like in France, you, you know how it is with French people. We're like pretty... I don't know <laughs> how it is with French people. <laughs> I don't know either. Please yeah. elaborate. Yeah. <laughs> Educate us, please. I mean, we, we are pretty like open-minded, I okay. would say, in that area. But like, yeah, in the end, like it's the same in Korea. I, I would say that they are more in a rush here. They're in a rush. Oh, yeah, really? Sometimes okay. they are. Uh, At least to me, that's what I felt like. Hmm. You, especially fuck boys here. They're like, <sighs> they're not. They, of course. Sometimes they're too much in a rush and they're not playing smart. Uh -huh. Well, like, yeah, it, I'm not even speaking just for me, but even for, with my uh, friends, like girlfriends, yeah. they sometimes they they have the girl already, but they're like so in a rush then they lose everything because oh. they, they act stupid oh yeah they act stupid and then yeah uh. y they treat girls like you know just there for their own you know i kind of get this vibe from some of the korean fuckboys that they think the yeah. foreigners are easier than they actually oh, yeah. are oh yeah that's a thing and like I, they'll hit you up on tinder and be like 
So we're going to your house, and I'm like, yeah. I would never invite some yeah. strange man into my house. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? But yep. I guess it works with somebody because they keep on doing must, that, right? Right. It must, it must work. But like, I, I had s- even in my DMs in Instagram, I have so many offers every day. You know what's funny <laughs> about that? That point. It's like I get that question so many times. Is why do Korean men find foreign girls easy? I get that question a lot. Yeah. I think I, I think I know why. Why? Please tell but me. But that's maybe it's just it's just a theory. But like this, there was the Korean wave, right? K dramas, actors, uh-huh. and like K-pop, like blow up internationally. BTS, BTS, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I think foreign girls, especially young girls that don't have much experience, that don't know any better, mm. like had this image of Korean guys. They like fantasized about them, mm-hmm. and they thought like they were like guys. You know, they lived in uh, especially like everything was rainbows, and they mm. then they. They come here with all that innocence and they get played by uh-huh. guys because they think that they are nice guys when they're not. And it's just that effect, you know, that made hmm. foreign girls seem yeah. easy because they were just happy to you mm. know, experience K-drama or K-pop. I don't think we should blame it all on them, though. I don't think it's just that because like any foreign country that I've lived in, yeah. the foreign women always have that reputation yeah. uh, and I think a lot of it has to do with like people coming friends, here though. just to study for like six months and they're like well I don't know anybody here and I'm not gonna live here uh, so I'm just gonna yeah. like oh, cut that loose too. It's mm-hmm. true. and it's then true. go back home and I've seen uh, foreigners do that in every country in the point. world that's a good point yeah. so yeah. they think there's like a you know an end date so mm-hmm. it's yeah. not gonna be serious and nobody here knows them yeah. they're just gonna have fun yeah, yeah. so they're okay. like I'm struggling yeah, with that too yeah, those are two Dude good from facts. Tinder to my house. Yeah. I guess yeah. I don't know. That's, Those are that's really dangerous. And also, I, mm. I, cause I, asking me that question is kind of like I can't exactly answer that because I'm somewhat Americanized. Mm. So I wanted to ask, yeah. in order to answer answer that question, I wanted to ask a Korean Korean friend that doesn't mm. speak a lick of English. Mm. That's one thing he said. He said about K-pop because yeah. K-pop is so big. We mm. understand that foreign mm. girls come to Korea t- because they like Korean mm. men, right? So they're using it. Uh, yes, using that it. as well. Yeah. And I think also um, he said that. Some people, some Korean people are just narrow-minded to where they think Western society is just America. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) But does that mean America is very, No, no, but the thing about America is it was always been like that, David. I'm sure you can agree with me. Yeah. America was always open. It was, they were always outgoing. They were always doing something. When we see it, we'll be like, whoa. That's crazy, or something, yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that, right? Especially I mean, when you watch just like movies and yeah, TV, and that's the way your window to yeah, America. Portrayed yeah, portrayed in the media, like <laughs> every single drama or every single series has like a bed scene right mm-hmm. after they meet. So, yeah. so those guys might look at that and be like, "Oh, I guess American girls are open-minded, and yeah. some guys are just narrow-minded." You know what I mean? Yeah, you can't exactly help that. Yeah, and I also think uh, it's like the uh, reverse effect of seeing Korean girls being very conservative over like sex and stuff mm. like that. Yeah. So it's like, I know Western girls or international folks aren't easy, mm-hmm. but it is a fact that they're more open mm-hmm. about talking about those mm-hmm. topics. Yeah, I agree. So, it's less taboo. Yeah, it's less taboo. And Korean girls, they're like, if you talk about sex in front of them, they like, yeah, they, mm, they, they, zip up, they, get, they blush, they like shun mm-hmm. away from it. So on, on the contrary, like a lot of foreigners, yeah. Um, they're not shy about talking. Yeah, it's like pre- it's normal if you're like an adult. Mm-hmm. You're gonna you're gonna yeah. have like physical contact, right? So, <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's yeah. one effect. I, I think we pretty much nailed it here. Like all. So the if you want to avoid yeah. those guys, just avoid Hongdae at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Hongdae, I, like, Hongdae. Really I hate. Hongdae. I hate Hongdae. I so heard much. the term <laughs> Hongdae boy. Hongdae guy. Yeah. Hong, yeah. What, Hongdae what is that? Boy. Is that a new thing? I hate Hongdae so much. It's a thing. When did that appear? <sighs> okay, I'll explain. Before we go on, a special thanks to the sponsor of this episode, Naked Soul, bringing Korea into your hands with authentic, curated, made in Korea products you can't get on Amazon. They have fast global shipping, and right now, as of April 1st, they are having a limited sale on super high quality BTS D Festa photo books, celebrating BTS Jimin's successful solo album release. So go check it out along with other hip Korean products you can't find anywhere else other than Naked Soul. So I so heard much. the term <laughs> Hongdae boy. Hongdae guy? Yeah. Hong, yeah. What, what is that? Boy. Is that a new thing? I hate Hongdae so much. It's a thing. When did that appear? <sighs> okay, I'll explain. Yeah. Like, because uh, a lot of people ask me, like, why do you hate Hongdae so much? <laughs> you hate Hongdae? I absolutely <laughs> detest Hongdae. And I'll tell you why. I'll oh. tell you why. I'll explain. I have a multitude of reasons. I don't hate Hongdae as an area. 
But mm. I hate Hongdae of the way it makes me feel. If I go to the club, then you girls, I know you guys can, you guys know if you've been to Hongdae. There's yeah. guys there thinking, I'm going to get drunk tonight. I'm going to find a drunk girl that's drunk enough to sleep with me if I'm lucky. Yeah. Like I can smell desperation in the mm-hmm. air in real yeah. time. It's, oh, very it's bad sickening. Vibes. I hate it's it. Funny. Right? I said about and as a, as a guy myself, it's just, de- it puts me in a depressive state. And I'll tell yeah. those guys, hey, listen, if you have time and energy to do all of that in Hongdae, why don't you use that money and time to work on yourself, oh, to yeah. self-improve, oh, to yeah. start attracting mm-hmm. women instead? Mm-hmm. How are you going to live that kind of yeah, lifestyle? Very logical, alone, yeah. Right? But there's nothing wrong with going clubbing. There's mm-hmm. nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. But if your only intent as a man, if your only intent of going clubbing is to just get drunk girls that will sleep with you if you're lucky, yeah. mm-hmm. you're just living a very sort of futile lifestyle and just very low on my list. Yeah, there is just something really desperate and creepy about it. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah. there's like sharks, like yeah. in the club, like, you can, is she drunk? Is she drunk? Yeah. How about that girl? Like, <laughs> Have you ever been Can to like a drunk? hunting yeah. pub? Yeah. I've never been Hun- to one. They, they line up for like two hours, three hours just to get in. That's just, yeah. 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 I mean, I, I've been, I've been to some I've back, been back in the day. You bad <laughs> boy. <laughs> back in the day. Uh, but normally those like very thirsty people, desperate people don't end up happy results themselves. Yeah. They, they, they just end up eating a uh, kupab <laughs> at 5 a.m. with their bros and saying like, oh, I almost had that chick. Oh and my like, God. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> They're like self-masturbating in their minds. Oh. Like, oh, if I just did that, oh, you almost had her, man. Like, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> so oh. it's, it's normally the cool kids, like as Sean said, like has more like confidence in themselves improve their yeah. own selves they're just cool about it it's normally those people that if they're just in those kind of settings they get more of a appeal attract and right also like just be smart you like girls are sometimes open to have like fling or mm-hmm. just not serious things but you still ha- need to be a y- normal human being i think a lot of problems that guy has nowadays they're not upfront and honest yeah oh, uh, they're just I they're slack. Slack. I really just agree with that here in Korea. Like, really? There's nothing yes. wrong. I never like, had any. All the guys uh, like that were not serious with me. They, they were upfront. Yeah, they were they're, like, well, always, I want to have they this always kind told of me I only want like one night stand oh, or wow. like I only mm. want to be friends with benefits with you. Oh, that's a change. Maybe I, I got lucky. How I think you? you're lucky. Yeah, what about your story? I, I feel like guys lie a lot here, but oh. they're not very good at lying. <laughs> like yeah, the hospital guy. Yeah, I, I immediately knew he was lying, uh, you know? You get the or, sense. or being like, yeah, I want to go to the movies with you, but it was uh, really just to make sure that I wasn't going to cheat on him. Uh, like, oh, oh, like if she says I can come, then that means she's not going to cheat on me, but uh, I'm not going to go. That like that not, kind of he's stuff. He's not trusting you. That's bad. The white lies here are very common too. Mm. Like instead of saying like, Oh, I'd, I don't want to do something like big this weekend. Yeah. They're always like, oh, like I just. I have something. Yeah, yeah exactly. Busy. Like uh, they won't just say like, hey, actually, like we've been hanging out a lot. Like let's like, you know, chill or uh, like let's stay home this weekend yeah. and not go out because I don't want to spend a lot of money. They uh, will never say uh, that. Big egos. Yeah. They never want Maybe you to know that they don't have money. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. and it's like, I know, I know that they're lying <laughs> to me, but like they have like these ridiculous mm. lies. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think about who should pay on the first date? The Speaking guy of money, should. Men, you know why? And I the have, guy should? Yeah. I have mm. a, a logic. Like, yeah. A logic mm-hmm. behind that. Sorry, so you, you wanted to. No, no, no go uh, on men first. Should yeah. Pay. Yeah, men agree. should pay on the first yes. date. Okay. Yeah. You guys agree then. You're also <laughs> like, first reason is like, chivalry being a gentleman chivalry okay. second second is like as a girl we spend a lot of money on ourselves mm-hmm. like to look good to yep. smell good to like on makeup hair mm. you know uh mm. treatments skin treatments like clothes and like things that guys don't always have to do mm-hmm. to look good mm-hmm. and we spend all that money yep. to be to be ready for you mm-hmm. to look nice for you. Mm-hmm. So you, it's just courtesy to me that you should pay for the first meal. But mm-hmm. after that, after that, you still need to be some kind of equal in the relation. If you yeah. like on the second date, like if the guy pays for my meal, for mm-hmm. instance, I would maybe pay for the dessert or the yeah. cafe after, or oh, maybe I will like pay on the second day mm-hmm. like it needs t- still to be balanced but for the first ever day uh, it is courtesy that the guy that's pays that's interesting okay for me uh, I can respect it's my that, opinion yeah. that, like, you know what I think that's I think you nailed it mm. oh thank you mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, and I know I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this but I genuinely think a guy should pay for the day and, yeah. I'll, and I'll explain why the reason why is because she's right the girl probably had to take an hour to 
decide what she was going to wear. Yeah. She probably had to put on makeup. It's shape for the clothes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of work. <laughs> you know, and usually the guy's asking the girl, hey, I'd love to take you out for dinner. So whoever yeah. asks usually yeah. pays for it. Yeah. So it I, just works. Yeah. Let's say we're on a date, okay? And my name is Gregory, for example. <laughs> it's not Sean Solo. <laughs> just as, you know. Gregory. Yeah, Gregory. it's Gregory. Why so specific? <laughs> I just, you know. And then we were having a date and you're like, oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. And mm. I was like, hey, why don't we go out and have drinks now? And you're like, yeah, sure. Ooh, Gregory. Yeah. And I was like, oh, excuse me, but I think we got a Dutch. That will dry you up like the Sahara Desert, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Honestly. Yeah, that's a turn off yeah. moment. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. So I would like, even my friends too, they, they were like, oh, why do I have to play? I'm like, do you just pay? Mm. Yeah, just pay for it, man. I mean, it's not just like the fact that we spend so much more time and money on looking good, and guys are usually initially attracted to a girl mm -hmm. based on looks more than a girl is attracted it to is a guy, true. right? Yeah. But also, I think it's just like a general fact yeah. around the world yeah. <laughs> that men are more likely to try to sleep with you yeah. and then bail. Basically, but if he's yeah. willing to pay, that shows a little bit more of like respect, first of all, but also maybe he's actually going to stick around mm. for the second date because yeah. he's serious about you. He's investing something yeah. in you. But it's, yeah. it's an interesting world we live in today because I made a video about that on my uh, one of my videos. I say, yeah, I think a guy should pay for the first date. And a lot mm. of guys actually came on to me and said, you're a simp for that. You're simping? Yeah. Uh, and I was like, wow, like what has, what has this world become? Like what has it become? The right, right question is, are these guys poor? Exactly. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I tell yeah. this guy, I know. Can these like guys you shouldn't be dating, dating if you, to, exactly. exactly. You like, shouldn't if you don't have dating. the money, don't date. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in Korea, it's expensive. Get your exactly. priorities yeah. straight Fair first. Enough. Get a good job, yeah. then start yeah. dating. Yeah. 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 yeah, but you know, yeah. So like I, we live in a world today where I get called a simp for paying for girls' dates. So that's what it is. Yeah. Fuck you, by the way. I mean, I always, I don't know why, like I haven't thought deeply about this subject, but I've always just paid. Of like first, I think it's Korean enough, David. Honestly, yeah, yeah. I, think it's, it's I just enough. I was just paid, and it me makes me feel good. I was the one that asked out. I think that's like the primary factor. Like if I was the one that asked exactly. her yeah. out, then I am affording her a meal, <laughs> and uh, if she was the one, like she can afford me, she can give me a meal. Mm -hmm, yeah. So like I think that's the the rule there uh, for me. And Korean's are too much sometimes, so they want to pay everything. Oh yeah, sometimes. And yeah. sometimes like for me. I can be uncomfortable with that when the yeah. guy will like, just wants to pay everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so shocked when I first came here and guys were like buying me packs of cigarettes on the first day. I was oh. like, yeah, I'm going to go to the convenience store and buy some cigarettes. And they were like, oh, what okay. kind do you want? What kind do you want? Yeah. Okay, for you. I was like, what? Right. Like I expect them to pay for the food and stuff, but I had yeah. no idea they were so going to do that. So you'd be uncomfortable if the guy pays for yeah, everything. Yeah, once I had to force myself on at the cashier desk to pay because mm. the guy would not let me pay. And I was mm -hmm. like, dude, you know, guys like, that. like I can't do that for you. I'm not like, you're not my sugar daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 but, but I, like, because I'm kind of like that. Like if you're oh. dating me, I pay for everything. Mm -hmm. Simple. Yeah, but like, but, like actually I, it, it depends also on how the guy handles it. Like mm -hmm. if it's like natural, if it's like, okay, girl, I just want to treat you. Please yeah, let yeah. me, is it like, if he puts it that way, okay. But like usually for me at the time, it, it didn't make me uncomfortable mm -hmm. because it was like, oh my God, he's like working really hard. Right. And he's like, he's like, spending that much because mm -hmm. it was not small amounts of money too. Yeah. Like we went mm -hmm. to fancy restaurants and I was like, I cannot let you pay for everything. But yeah. it, maybe it depends on the yeah, person. It, it depends actually. on the person. I'm yeah. just like, shut up, I'm paying. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, just like, you know, nice if too. you want like, to pay, go depends, for it. It depends yeah, on the thank context, Thank you if I you guess. pay, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm okay with any scenario. If mm -hmm. I pay all, if she pays or whatsoever, as long yeah. as she's not entitled. Exactly. exactly. Like yeah, yeah. that's the exactly. point. There has to be yeah, there has equal to be the basic exchange. respect. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm paying for all this, so you know, there's some things you might listen to me. You yeah. Know? There, so there has to be some kind as of As long as there's change. like respect, mutual respect, mm. I'm okay with any kind of scenario. Like if she's yeah. grateful to you and yeah. she's like, Oh, yeah. that's so nice, instead mm. of being like, Yeah, you better fucking pay that. Yeah, like, so there like, are actually <laughs> girls, like bad <laughs> girls like that, that mm -hmm. um just stand behind you in the cashier and don't, yeah, but, oh, yeah, don't do anything. But, yeah, or they wait, order wait. the most expensive thing they could possibly order because Sometimes they it's assume a you're going to pay. Because uh, you can sense that the guy doesn't like, will me will be uncomfortable if you like, you know, uh, that's, yeah, sometimes, that, it, sometimes. it really depends on the situation. I guess, I think. yeah. But you can, but, I think you, you should like, I think with experience, you'll sift those girls out. Mm -hmm. like an instant you'll sift them out. And also like, oh, and yeah. what I've noticed is, um, 
a lot of the nice girls at least offer to pay. Like, mm. oh, is it really okay? And, and mm. I say it's fine. Mm. She's like, okay, and I'll buy dessert or something like that. Mm -hmm. It usually goes that yeah. way. Like normal people, yeah. communication. Yeah. Yeah. And if the yeah. girl's like trying to like, oh, you've been, honey, you've been buying a lot of dinners. Let me buy this dinner for you this yeah. time. I'm not mm. going to say no to that. I'll be like, of mm -hmm. course, honey, that's such, that's so kind. It's, mm -hmm. kind of, it's coming from the kindness of her heart. So right. it's like, yeah, that's just like to. basic respect. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. Or maybe she will do something else mm -hmm. to like make up for it. <laughs> what? What? Wait, 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 wait. We all had the okay, same yeah. thoughts, like yeah, ding, 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 okay, right here, like light bulbs. I was bulbs. not. I was <laughs> not being that she was like, or maybe she can do something. I mean, I think that is the idea. <laughs> we just connected all of us. Yeah. 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 Just, oh, this is a short. Like, no. I can see this as a short. <laughs> no, yeah. no, you guys have dirty minds. I no, but that way. we you literally had light bulbs above our heads, and like we were like, what? You can, you will see my face on camera, all innocent and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I believe you. Well, yeah, it's kind of like that thing. If the if the girl doesn't show any gratitude for right. you paying yeah, for her, exactly. Mm -hmm. But then like the guy expects you to sleep with him after and gets That's like so bad. Like so oh how bad. dare you like not invite me to your house after oh, I just bought all that did, stuff. Did you get sometimes like, that comment mm, when like you decide to not sleep with the guy on this like on the first day? I've never then, gotten like an open comment, but I maybe did. like a, actually did. a feeling you know, that I they expected that. I get something. I get that question a lot wow. from from girls. I get that question a lot. Like guys that pay for the first date. Do they usually mm. always want sex in return? Mm. I get that. Is that no. real? No, no, no. no. Bad guys. It's only sure. bad guys. Fuck boys. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah boys they do. would give you a bad vibe after, mm. yeah, and then you, you would probably block it, them. You know? <laughs> we can sense it. One question though: Why? Why do you think in the recent eras, like recent times, Korean fuckboys and Hongdae boys have become so like infamous? TikTok, um, I would say. TikTok? Yeah, I would say social media reason. Yeah, probably. So it's like, do you think it's more amplified than reality, or is it? actually like that out there in oh, the dating scene. I think it's actually like that. Yeah. Oh, really? What do you think? What's the, what, what are the factors? Like, why do you think Korean dudes are like more fuck boys than uh, other? I don't think it's any more than mm -hmm. any other place. Oh, it's the same? I think it just has to do with modern dating, you mm. know, like the, all these apps that are so easy to meet people. Mm. So, like we have such easy access to a new person every I, day if we want to. Like With a mix of like Hallyu and Korean wave yeah, and then actually, like, yeah. everybody's I, attention on that. Yeah. Okay, my point of view on this is like Korea has been open to the world since like maybe 20 years now. Yeah. It's been really recent uh -huh. and it's, it's still a traditional like uh, right. country, mm. like uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but like no, go you on. say like, you know, for Korean girls, for instance, it was really hard to speak about sex. Yeah. It still is, but like for Korean boys, it was too. Like mm -hmm. there was, they had like strong family values and like yeah. everything, all physical things are taboo. And that is slowly like with foreigners coming in, in the country, with the country opening mm. up its doors, it's slowly becoming, you know, more, loose i yeah, guess and so yeah. they're like you know trying new things and then <laughs> <laughs> i'm i'm just it's, it's it's just my guess but like maybe it's a wave effect okay. of, uh, and it's maybe just a phase and it's like it's gonna be uh, more normal in the future it's gonna be like i know. think it's just modern society like yeah. a lot less people want to get married a mm. lot less people want to have kids um True. there's yeah. not as much pressure around I that think that's sad, and though, modern social. dating and social media makes it so easy you can just go right now and meet somebody new if you True. want to yeah, like that true. yeah and and on that point um normally I get a lot of these like questions from my subscribers. They're like, uh, should I meet a guy on Tinder? Because <laughs> <laughs> like, they're always like, that's the only place I can meet yeah, Korean dudes. And I true. understand that totally. But my advice is always like, that's not a good idea. Probably if you're looking for a genuine relationship, 90%, mm -hmm. I would say 90% of the dudes on Tinder or dating apps in yeah, Korea are mm -hmm. looking for just sex or like I'd say the same stuff. about America though yeah, really? it's the okay. same everywhere it's the same everywhere it's the same everywhere okay so but yeah. I don't agree with you with that oh really okay you because, can rebut because yeah. I, I stayed with a guy five years and I met him on Tinder in I, of Back course they're like so, hidden gems there yeah. I think it's just about luck basically luck. when you when you meet someone it's about like it doesn't matter where you meet uh -huh. it's about like you know luck and timing mm -hmm. I think it's just a numbers game exactly mm -hmm. yeah because exactly. my last three serious boyfriends I, I all 
from a dating app. Mm. Okay, okay. Especially but for uh, in between, mm-hmm. I probably went on like fifty to maybe even a hundred <laughs> fucking dates, and they were like yeah, terrible to from find dating apps. The one terrible oh. dates. So that's like, like a ten percent ratio. Catfished left and right. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I've had never that been too. catfished so much in my life, except Korea. Yeah. Yeah. Filters, Photoshop. Yeah, Photoshop. Oh, you, gotta, they you, gotta, lied. you gotta take it to church. They <laughs> seriously like. Yeah, they, I didn't yeah. even recognize him when I showed up. Yeah. I was like, are you even the same dude? Like, yeah. Yeah. So was it that bad? It was that bad. Jesus Jesus and it's happened like at least 10 times. I can confirm that. He, he was That's like thing here. way thing. younger, okay. way hotter in his picture. But like, yeah. I've heard of girls doing that all over yeah, the world. everyone does that here. Yeah, I guess. But the, I've never seen guys do that until I came mm. here. Really? The yeah. filter game here is like huge. Yeah, <laughs> Photoshop yeah. Like stuff. dating apps in America or anywhere else. Like I always knew what I was getting into. But like here, I've showed up so many times and I was like, you are not this person. <laughs> <laughs> that is not you. I, I really don't und- understand that because if I change myself and like I, I come to date and then the uh. guys like... I would be d- devastated to, yeah. to, to disappointment. That, yeah, that it's the like guy's immediate disappointment. Right. It's like yeah. you think that the date's gonna get better after oh, that. Right. I That's don't bad. understand. Or do they think they look like that? Is yeah. that some crazy mm-hmm. body dysmorphia thing? <laughs> body dysmorphia. They, like maybe they <laughs> honestly extent? believe that they look like that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think, think it's just the idea of like, <laughs> oh, I look. This is the this is the only way I can get matches. <laughs> and maybe uh, if I meet her in person, yeah. she'll like me for who I am. Oh, personality. Oh my god. It could be that. I have no idea. Yeah, like me for who that. I am they as a the, liar. The, yeah, yeah. They hope the girl will like them because of their like game or something. But that's I think sad. it's immediately starts trust issues at that yeah. point. That's what yeah. I'm saying. You're yeah. starting off on lies and disappointment. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. no, I don't see how it's gonna yeah. get better after that. Yeah. Yeah, but Sean, what's your yes. uh, your what's your perspective on like meeting Korean guys on Tinder? <laughs> or like meeting vice versa, meeting girls on Tinder. Yeah. Um, Sigh. I, just, I don't do that. I don't. Uh, you I don't, don't need to do that, probably. Yeah, I don't really. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. I'm not trying to be pompous, arrogant in any way. Yeah, it's just I know. That yeah. I. I'm just joking. Um, I'm good. I'm, I, I don't go club. I don't mm. really go. I'm not a big clubber. I don't. I don't go to bars. Oh, I don't pretty do much. Me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. So. I wouldn't recommend it, but mm-hmm. you know, like like I said, there's nothing wrong with a guy sleeping around with girls. Yeah. But you just gotta be up and forward yeah, about it tell that it. girl hey like you know i just want a casual right you know mm-hmm. yeah. just be upfront with it yeah. right you can't be like two three months in and be like your girl number 14 you didn't know <laughs> mm. that's terrible yeah so, i mean yeah like what i want to say is like as sonia said um she met like 50 horrible guys <laughs> on tinder <laughs> the, the success rate for her was like 50 out of three out of 50 so that's like below 10 percent mm-hmm. and like what i'm saying is like if you want a genuine relationship with a guy a sincere one then tinder's probabilities yeah are very low so true. yeah so i true. would not uh resort to dating apps if you're looking for a very but serious relationship also as a foreigner sometimes mm. you when you don't know anyone and you yeah. don't have mm. any korean friends to true. like mm. present introduce you yeah, introduce you to their friends yeah. then it's the only resort yeah unfortunately it's a very uh, tough situation but uh, nevertheless i would uh, recommend always like try to hang out with the locals your good friends and them introducing Mm -hmm. their friends and then that's the best yeah Mm -hmm. i think the natural way it's going to lead you to quality men Mm -hmm. good people not thirsty (laughs) fwb yeah (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) sending that kind of stuff just avoid home at all costs (laughs) (laughs) that's all i say it's good maybe gangnam Gangnam? avoid home at all costs Maybe no, it, no, no, it, it no, no, no. One, no, one, just come to, just, no, just come to my street. Come to your, come just, to your street. Come to Are you doing street. matchmaking yes, services now? Like, yeah, no, please, no, no, no. Sean, please, Sean, do that. Open the no, no, no. new business. Yeah, I'm, but, I'm, I'm promoting myself. <laughs> <laughs> Quote, History avoid is Hongdae at all costs. History is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, Hongdae is pretty bad. Yeah, Itaewon's pretty bad too, yeah. I, yeah but I the guys say. are still good looking, I must say. Oh. That's the problem in Korea. Guys are really, and girls, mm. are really good looking here. Mm. So sometimes it's Cunning. hard to resist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> okay. There's a common perspective that Korean guys are either uh, fuck boys or mm. K drama boys. What do you think about that? Mm-hmm. Take it away, ladies. Oh, uh, it's a mix of the two. Mix of the two. Okay. It's a mix of the they two coexist. because, like, look at my own experience with French guys. Mm-hmm. Like, Korean guys do 
treat their girlfriend better. Mm-hmm. It, it's a disclosure. It's only based on my experience. Please, what, friends, what you guys of, do not like attack me. <laughs> what kind of <laughs> examples like is like taking well, care of you? Well, there's a better. lot of fuck. Was in Korea, that's a fact. Mm-hmm. But when they are serious about the girls, they really, they really take care of their girlfriends. Like, mm-hmm. what, like they, they are really that? gentlemen. They mm-hmm. like uh, the little things. Little in, things. Yeah, in the daily life, like. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, they drive, they drive their girlfriend, they, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. they just call her and if if she needs, if she needs him, like, Mm -hmm. he's always there. Like, Mm -hmm. it's based on like my, I I never had an official boyfriend here, to Mm -hmm. be fair, but I did have like, uh, friends that, that have one and they, they have really husband merch here, I would say. They're really good, good people. Like, when they're serious, it's really... Okay, finally, I'm happy to hear some positive stories. My boyfriend spoils the crap out of me. Oh, really? How? Like... (laughs) <laughs> it's not something that he, we get in Western yeah, society. Yeah, he buys me vacations, wow. like Whoa. clothes, whatever I want. Oh. Like anytime I have a problem, he fixes it for me if oh, I can't do it myself. That's so nice. yeah, the smile on your face right yeah. now. It's really, <laughs> I, I, think, I think you're getting what you deserve for going through 50 catfishes. Right. <laughs> okay, what that's what me and karma. my friends yeah. always say is like, in America, it's kind of just like flat yeah. or like Western world, like it's all flat. But like here, the highs are really high, but yeah. like the lows are also very low. That's really true. That it's, sums up everything. Uh, yeah. So maybe the fuck boy versus the yeah, K drama yeah, is like almost yeah. a real thing. Okay. okay. But like in America, yeah. it's just kind of like, ah, oh, yeah, like this is good enough. Mm. Yeah. But just don't think that Korean drama actors are, is a thing because like Korean guys are still normal. Yeah. Normal they don't people. exist. Yeah. yeah. Please. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the whole podcast was shitting on Korean guys. I yeah, swear. Yeah. You won't see BTS streaming on the streets yeah. yeah never be so yeah um so actually the the studio manager guy is <laughs> here and he wants us to get out uh-huh. so oh this was this is very abrupt but i think it was a good show nevertheless yeah. Thank um, you, David. yeah it was a good episode i re- i really wish we could sit down and talk more on this topic uh i'll call you guys again maybe they will do part two yeah <laughs> we'll be, we can <laughs> maybe do a part i think we could do a part three four yeah five. easy <laughs> let's see what, what the viewers say they want to see yeah. more of and yeah. then Exactly. Expand on that. Put them in the comments, mm-hmm. your questions. Uh, Sean could give you opinions, not advice. Yeah. And I think I like that, that. I like that. Yeah. That's really uh, nice. Yeah. So I really enjoyed your company here today. Thank uh, you. It was nice chemistry. And uh, yeah. So that was it for episode five of Korean Pizza Club. Um, Thank you for coming, everybody. And uh, just to let you guys know, I just mm. opened our Patreon. So if you would like to support mm. the podcast, you can support it officially on Patreon. Uh, you can get exclusive podcasts and also early access and full uh, unedited versions there. So check it out. Also, thank you to Naked Soul for sponsoring this podcast. Go check these uh, nice Korean diaries and Jimin's uh, photo book here <laughs> on Naked Soul. And stay tuned. I think they are willing to come for another episode. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And I will pay sure. you guys then <laughs> more than pizza. So yeah, uh, thank you for joining us and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.